I blend in? Never wear hats because it makes me look like a child. Now we're going to do ceramic for my room. The best. Ooh, I like your hat. You're too Fine. cute. We have all set. Yeah, we do. That's so great. Okay, let's go. This is what I would, my building technique coils. As the years go by I realize that I Don't want to stay the same I want to be a Like what? When you believe you're okay. a 
certain sign, you kind of appropriate those qualities to yourself. And like I just always attributed Virgo qualities to myself. Mm -hmm. Because you just, you want to fit your sign, right? You want it to be true. Sure. In Leo, it makes so much more sense. You want to have that quiet serenity but with fire and sign. What did you see in Leo that you really felt was spot on? Probably the more negative qualities. The challenges? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like Leo, usually people don't love that sign. You know, very self-centered. Yeah, Leo and Aries get a bit of bad that rap. similar kind of bad rap. Being too assertive or something. It's too high. You're better to take the clean off your knife. <laughs> because Mila says she likes me more. She said something to me too about that thing. Oh, she said I like the confidence of Mila. It's definitely a, a fun sign. This book you need to mm -hmm. get into myself. I've been like doing more reading on signs and I just like there are some qualities that I see in my friends and I'm like, oh my god, how is it this accurate? Mm -hmm. I got this app, CoStar. Mila was telling me about that. Yeah, for me it says, you know, my Mercury is in Virgo, Venus and whatever. I can't even remember. It's fun because you get to like add friends on there. So you have your friends charts and it shows you your compatibility with your friends. And, That's like, interesting, the compatibility. Yeah. What time was I born at? Exactly. You were born at 1.45 a.m. Mom! I know. I was there. I'm absolutely sure that you were born at 2.04. You were there. Did they mess up? Mom, that really changes things. Well, 20 minutes is not going to totally change things. It might. It could be the minute that changes. Well, well do you time. think that maybe they just wanted to do it quick and like roll whatever? This is it, I think. I'm gonna keep working on it a little bit, but it's pretty cool. I'm on my way to my mom's studio right now to finish up some pieces that I worked on last week, I think. I need to paint them so that she can fire them. I'm gonna be organizing a bunch of jewelry on those. I made like jewelry platters that are super pretty. Yeah. So yeah, I'll see you when I'm on my way. Hi, Jean. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah. <laughs> bon. White kiwi. I like that. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, that's for you. That's your toy. This is her box. <laughs> it's so funny. It's her bed. It's her cozy little bed at the studio. Um, yes. Because yes. sometimes. Okay. So here you, see you have a crack. That's a stress crack. Yeah. You want to fill that in. This round that's part. Great. Always put your finger behind whatever you apply pressure to. I'm just going to cross hatch over. I'm not going to go the same direction. And what I'm doing is moving the clay to fill in that crack. Go like this, Ava, and create a bit of dust. Yeah. Perfect. Then I'm going to take this and smush it in there. Filling in the crack is what I need to do. And if ever you have a crack, you don't want to reintroduce water because okay. water makes it swell and open up. These are my colors. So how much do I apply? If you do one coat like that, you'll see the unevenness of the brush mark. So depending on the marks you make, that could be really interesting. It could kind of give a, a watercolor look. If you want solid, opaque color, absolutely. Do three coats. I kind of like the brush marks. Mm -hmm. Sure. Shoot, mom, can I wipe stuff off? Mama, mama. Yeah. Maybe a little one of these. Oh, I know. Whee! 
do like cool. a checkered thing. Oh yeah. Just make sure you let it totally dry before you go the other direction. Mm -hmm. 